Hey Libra Seeker, how are you? Excited for the new year? Welcome back to the Existential Shift. I'm really happy to have you here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Morgane. Thank you for subscribing. Happy to have you to join um, our tribe. Four of Swords already. A high labor Four of Swords. What are we waiting on? Most readers will press pause and then start anew, but I'm going to give it to you live. My candle just... Your candle burned out long before your legend ever will. Oh, this is something I can relate with. Did you lose something, Libra? Is it someone? Is it your inner faith? Let me get you a new candle. I'll be right back. I got you. Hold on. Okay, let's do this together, Libra. Let's relight whatever it is that you feel like you've lost. We're bringing light back into it. And if you actually lost someone, I'm deeply sorry for your loss. And this is for them, okay? I love you guys. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any placement that resonates with. So recovery. Many of you out there, you know what it is that you're recovering from. from, And it's okay, you need this. The death card. Yeah, some of you actually lost someone. And some of you have been going through such a massive change. Um transformation maybe you're grieving your old self that you feel like you've lost like maybe some of you are not recognizing yourself anymore uh, watch Gemini that I just did Libra for January happy new year what is go oh yeah very very heavy um hmm, heavy heart Circle of life, huh? I'm not going to patronize you. Be in the fields, Libra. There's nothing worse than feeling really, really, really low and having someone make you feel like shit for it, like there's something wrong with you for wanting to rest or grieve or just be sad. Sometimes we just need to be sad. Nothing is wrong with you. The opposite. Sadness exists in our... In our um, range of existence and range of emotions because it's part of the human condition just because of a piece of the puzzle we don't like it or it seems gloomy you know we can't just take it off then the puzzle is not complete by um, honoring your emotional state of mind admitting it to yourself you're honoring yourself and we know it's temporary, and I know that it's not because you're weak, it's not because there's something wrong with you. You're just going through the steps. Right? Okay. Let's keep going. Uh, Libra, January 2019. Hope you had a great holiday season. Um... And let's see what the New Year's brings with. The Chariot. Okay, so <laughs> you go from 0 to 100, Libra. You might start off. I feel like it will be literally until the, um, for the, the first week of January. Four to seven days. Somewhere around the uh, eclipse in Capricorn, which takes place on the 5th of January, you are waking up. Um, North Node in Cancer will give you a boost 
re regardless of where it is in your chart, this is part of the collective. So some more, some less, but it will affect you in a way that will give you more energy. Some of you, those, those of you who are actually grieving, uh, someone is coming from afar to be at your side, or you're going to be at their side for support. And or you have a very... Um, Very, um, what's the word, what you will call it, assertive, mm, present, strong energy that is around you to support you, that is there, like a protector. Like for those of you who feel like you've lost your shell, like your, your defense mechanism, like something broke you down or made you really kind of, you know, we all wear masks on our daily endeavors. We go to work, we meet up with our friends, we hang out, with, we see our family members, and there's a mask for every occasion, right? A different type of, oh, Libra, most especially Libra. Um, not because you're a hypocrite, but because you seek harmony, so you just, you adjust. Um, and some of you have went through something that, you know, you just don't, it takes a lot of energy to put up all these masks. All of us, we exert a lot of energy, whether we know it or not. Um, it takes away from our manifestation, from our healing powers, from many things, you know, the masks that we wear. Um, and some of you just don't have that, en or recently just lost the energy to keep wearing these masks. You're just kind of letting go of that. Um, so you feel like you kind of lost your shell, your defenses, your armor, which is the I'm happy and everything is great and I'm in control because I'm cardinal air. So, of course, I'm in control and I change, but I choose how I change. And I'm always a master of my communication when, well, when a Libra is balanced anyway. Um, so some of you feel like you just don't have that ability to do that anymore. And someone is around to serve that at, for you, to, to be that for you, like your, uh, kind of your armor between you and the world, in a way. It's interesting. It's something the collective is experiencing right now. We're all hypersensitive because we're going through a change. We're shedding our skin. So each of us has a different type of narrative, right? Right? It's, we all uh, experiencing the same sun, but each of us has a different, like, uh, light beings to that leads to it. So the narrative, the story is a little bit different, but I see, I see um, a shared mechanism between the readings so far. They were alleged, they were seemingly very different. I've done this is the fifth reading that I'm doing. I've done all the Earth, and now I just did Gemini, and now I'm doing Libra. Um, so like the the story is different, but the writer is this. It's the same writer. So you feel like there's 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 this similarities like like a, a, a back noise that is the same type of background music for all of us um yeah we're never alone in what we're going through so and some of you it's all of the above you have someone that is really encouraging you and giving you strength by just being there with no judgment and that generates energy in you to get up and, and go and it's it, it, this person is a it's just a presentation of the, the eclipse you know, in Capricorn, Capricorn is a very strong cardinal earth power that leads us to action, to, to building our world, to building a new uh, place for ourselves, um, build, writing a new story. The South Node now is in Capricorn as well, so we have like a back push towards the Cancer, towards the... Yeah, you can feel, you can be, you can own up to what your heart feels, who who you are, what you are. You can just let go of trying to control it and just be. And from there, you will generate new power. But not trying to force uh, energy by using the same mechanism that you used to use that does no longer works for you. But you will learn how to generate new energy in new ways. Okay, some of you have been waiting on a certain move or a change for a while, three to four months or three to four years, and now you feel like it's time and you're going to go, you're going to just do it. Um, 
Knight of Cups. Okay, another card of movement, of opportunity. Um, this could be someone offering you to come with them or towards them. Um, and it's an emotional offer, like relationship oriented. This is also like uh, the dream kind of thing. Like it could be someone that you never thought you could ever have or you always have feelings for, but it was never, uh, there was always like something between you, um, either an emotional detachment or other karmic stuff that each of you had to work through. And now it's like suddenly they're like popping out of nowhere and be like, hey, you want to try this? Okay. Like someone that was numb for a long time suddenly wakes up and be like, hey, I'm here. And you're like, well, good morning. Hi. What's up? This could be someone new, of course. Of course. Let's see. Um, but a lot of, you know, going from the heart. Look at this guy here, so he's it's he's not dead, he's meditating, he's resting. See his hands like are facing his heart chakra and his solar plexus. Okay. And this is the after tarot, so you can see here in the chariot, he's leading from his heart. You see how his right hand is on his chest and then his left hand is um controlling the this phoenixes. And there's not there there isn't even um um what's the word? There's no leash. Right, they're they're just listening to him because he's guiding them from his intuition, from his truth. So they are naturally, uh, they naturally resonate with that and act from there. Right, it's 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 a communication with our inner anima, with our inner um, raw self. So and here, see, it's also the Knight of Cups. An offer from the heart, movement from the water element, from the emotional realm. So this is someone that is really um, is moved by their heart. So I feel like it's really genuine. If you're making an offer, or if someone is making an offer for you, it, it's it's really genuine and from the heart. Um, not apologetic, kind of in your face, kind of thing. Not like in an aggressive way, but just like out in the open like cards on the table kind of thing i, I kind of like it um it kind of also reminds me of uh, uh sleeping beauty you know someone is kind of awakening someone else's heart that they were numb so it's symbolic that yeah definitely partnership this is a love reading libra oh this is lovely this is very very sweet energy oh Oh, this is, oh, this is so, so sweet. Like someone is really stepping up and is there for someone else. And it's like, I'm back from my travels, baby. Oh, I know what I want now, darling. <laughs> Look at this. It's so sweet. And like, he's hugging and she's hugging. I love the after tarot. They're so beautiful. Okay, um, strong bond, very, uh, I keep getting like le fairy tales and legends and, and classic movies, like I, I, I'm, I'm hearing As You Wish from Princess Bride. Please tell me you know this movie, and if you're too young to know this movie, if you like House of Cards and you like Robin Wright, and if you like Wonder Woman and you like Robin Wright, Go watch Princess Bride with Robin Wright because it's a majestic, sweet, sweet movie. And that's just what comes up. I'm going to name this video as you wish unless something else comes up. Oh, Libra, see? It hurt, but then something happens and you feel better. Good. What, what's next for Libra for January other than this beautiful partnership and friendship and heroic attributes? It's just Seven of Swords.
Okay. L listen to the, to the person that you feel is more genuine and speaks from the heart and doesn't necessarily have an alter alternative motive. Because someone, uh, you know, it's, it's like, you know what it's like? It's like when someone doesn't want you, doesn't want you, doesn't want you, or it doesn't work out, or they've been very disrespectful or nasty, and then suddenly you meet someone, or, or your best friend suddenly tells you that they love you and they want to try, and then you give it a try, and then suddenly this person wakes up and be like, oh wait, no, but I, I want. But you recognize that it's not because they love you, it's more about their ego, and like, oh wait, well, until now, I was okay with you not being able to be with me as long as you weren't with others. But now that you're with others, I think I'm going to try to lure you back to me playing you but not really being with you. Yeah, so know the difference. You know, cho choose the, the best friend kind of type, the, the, the person that is there for you and you, and you trust and you feel like they're, they're, they're genuine and genuine and are talking from the heart. Um, hmm. This is for very few of you. I don't like to provoke soap opera drama or go to the nasty mechanism of the human behavior and like I like to keep things you know more evolved spiritually but yeah it's part of our existence so I guess I'll mention the option um, someone might be trying to sabotage something good that will be going on for you um, either from jealousy or spitefulness or from a weird sense of competition or I don't know If you're feeling good with someone, don't let, like, like the friend that can't see you happy, that really likes it when you're down and low because it makes them feel like the hero that is always, and reminds them of how great their life is, and then suddenly things are working out for you, and you're feeling really good, and someone loves you, and someone is there for you, and things are starting to flow, and then I'm like, but what if he's actually playing you, or it didn't work out then, why do you think it will work out now, and you know, like, um, Um, how do you call how, how, there's a term for that um, Betty something <laughs> comment if you know what I'm talking about like someone that's just trying to look for the negative and kind of manipulate you into thinking that maybe there's something wrong with whatever this is listen to your gut but hold on I need to f my computer is like I don't want you to do that okay oh Right. Sorry. So yeah, don't don't let anybody sabotage. Sometimes people don't mean bad. They don't even know that they're doing that. It's a little bit self-absorbed and not very conscious. But if you feel it, just just be like, yeah, sure. Thanks for the advice. Bye. Oh, you don't like to see me happy. Okay. Sorry, you're not my hero this time. This guy is. Okay. Handle it. Find a different victim to feel good about yourself at, the, at their expense. If you're happy with something, stay happy. Also, don't let your mind trick you. Nine of Cups in the world. Okay. Definitely love reading. Definitely soulmate union. Definitely wish coming true. Definitely feeling on top of the world, like renowned faith. I don't know, should I call this as you wish or should I call this renowned faith? I'll decide eventually, but then comment if you preferred as you wish or renowned faith. But... There is travel and uh, the element of foreign countries. So either it's someone from that is foreign, say from a different culture, background, language, yada yada, or you will potentially be traveling together um, as part of your connection. It's also a possibility. 
This could be someone that works abroad as well, or communicates with with uh, international, um, you know, type of work that is international. It could be a diplomat. Um, interesting. Either the man or the woman, like the feminine or the masculine. I'm sorry, if you're gay, two men, two women, all good. So the masculine energy or the feminine energy could be either or. Um, like there, I'm getting like a diplomat, a traveler. Um, Foreign Affairs, United Nations, all that, all that fun stuff. Okay, what else? Show me more, please, for how far along are we in this reading? Mm, okay. It's a little bit more. I feel like this is so good and focused, I want to keep it this way. So let's do this. Because we need that Libra, right? We need good and focused and, and simple. Good and simple. We can't handle too much complications, too much yada yada. Oh, and look, now that I rearranged it, now that you didn't listen to the naysayers, um, it's just stepping out of the picture. All right, let's keep going, see if there's anything else for Libra for January. Okay, these two. Five of Cups and Judgment. Those of you who are still with the agony, you have to wake up in January. Energy won't let you carry it. Like things will start happening, things will start moving, so it will still, you know, things will start rolling. You don't have time for that anymore. It was December and the first week of January good for that now you have to for the remaining part of january from the second week and on so for the majority of it um, i want you to focus because some of you are really reminiscing to a loss to a pain to um to a um grief no judgment i get it and you obviously can allow yourself to feel but have your actions not follow it like wake up I say it in every single video, I feel like, get up, dress up, show up. If so far you haven't gotten up, you haven't dressed up, and you haven't shown up because you just couldn't, and it's okay, you had to go through it, from January 7th and on, January 5th and on, honestly, um, wake up call. Maybe I should call this video wake up call. <laughs> I'm never so confused when it comes to how to name my videos. What's going on, Libra? Um, but here's here's the thing whatever the sadness is about it has shown you a lot about yourself like it had you retreat retreat and retrieve and it allowed you to discover many things about your psyche and yourself and your patterns so now is the time to take everything you've learned and um, readjust Readjust and look at the glass half full, not the glass half empty. Um, also, those of you who are being partnered, I see someone potentially traveling for work, and the other is a little bit, um, you know, feels like that feels a little bit left out, or it just brings up the sense of abandonment. Like I was alone for so long, finally I found you, and now you're leaving again. Um, and that's the sense that I'm getting in January. I don't know what it will lead to towards um, February, but around the second eclipse on January 20, or is it January 21st, I think? Um, it, it, it will kind of be around that, here or away, in the feels of it. 
Let's take advice card. Show me advice for this situation, please, for Libra. The Fool, yeah. You open up to all new possibilities. Understand that everything that is happening now is because your energy is being on a restart button. Um, and just like, this is amazing because I have the, the two last cards in the tarot deck and the first one, the zero, like the t uh, judgment and the world is 20 and 21 from the Major Arcana. That's the, the last two cards from the 78 cards. And the zero, the full, it's the first and it's the last. It's either after the world or way before because it's all a circle. And the world symbolizes a circle and so does the full. Um, if it's meant to be, it will be. If it's meant to be, it'll be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. You know that song? I love that song. Come ride with me, ride with me. Go with them. Travel together. Just let it be. Um, like some of you, something will happen that will remind you a little bit of the past or feelings from the past or being left out. You are stronger than you were. You are not being left out. You're just being your free independent self and the other person is being their free independent self. And when it meets, it's great. And when it doesn't, it's like, okay, we're doing our thing and we meet. We're doing our thing and we meet. It's okay. Um, like, I feel like there's a, an essence of, you know, learning a new way of being together. I'm not talking necessarily about open relationships, unless it's your thing, and then you know, whatever. Uh, no judgment, yay. But it doesn't have to be that. You can be monogamous and together. But let's say you you both are um, self-employed and you both travel for work and you have project stuff so sometimes one has to go there one has to go there and it's like it's okay this could be the woman traveling for work or the guy traveling for work and there's constant communication between them and there's a sense of oh are you coming back and the person's like yeah i'm coming back why are you so worried it's okay remember i'm here i'm here here okay guys this was great um now i'm gonna do so normally what i do for an extended is what i'm gonna do right now for you here on youtube and not on vimeo on vimeo i have something else fun for you guys that i worked on uh, for the entire month of december i did a, a new project for the entire 2019 so your extended for January is basically an extended for entire 2019, which includes also January because I dissected 2019 by the months. Um, so link to that is below. And I'm going to use the opportunity that you already have extendeds for January to show you what I do in my regular extendeds, like that are not New Year. <laughs> um, what I do is I rearrange the cards on the table. I take the repeating uh, numbers and mechanism this this time I don't have any repetitions I only have one two one five one four one seven one nine so and only one nine so I'm, I'm just gonna take the seven and seven because the chariot is seven actually I'm gonna do this so the chariot is also seven and you know what I'm gonna take two of cups and put it under judgment because judgment is 20 that is two I'm gonna put the two of cups here and these don't repeat themselves, so I'm going to back here. Normally I take all the majors on the table and then the numerological repetitions, and I give a new reading that come, that is derived from the numeric aspect of the cards and the elemental aspect of the cards. And then I move on to do a Celtic cross, which is a brand new shuffle and a reading, and normally I finish up with either messages from the runes or um, an oracle. So now I'm going to give you this as a taste of the first part, of my standard extendeds, but to your actual extended uh, link below. Okay, let's do this. Um, oh, if I'm already on it, I'm sorry. Tarot Masterclass, if you want to learn tarot for me, it's online at your own pace. You choose when, how, where, which card, and so on. So check out, check it out also in the link below. And if you want to book a private reading with me, guess where the link is? Yes, in the information box below. So just all my services are down here. Check it out. Be happy to see you there. 
Okay, so the fool, the chair, judgment, the world. Why did I move them? Because I because when I rearrange, I do the chronological aspect of the um, uh, the major arcana as well. Two sevens, two twos. So seven and two both are very um, spiritual and emotional numbers of healing. Healing on the one-on-one -on -one level. Okay, there's healing groups like seven and nine, for example, and there's healing one-on-one, -on -one, like seven and two, for example. Um, some of you, uh, spiritual and psychological healing for others and for the self is like a, a soul journey, a soul mission. That's how you grow in this world. And for those of you who haven't done it so far, you are being called to recall that this is your mechanism, your mission. Live up to the 22, live up to the 77, your spirit guides expressing the 77 are expecting you to wake up and build upon your um, spiritual um, vision and energy and skill, which is the 22. Building a spiritual world or building a spiritual craft or using uh, intuitive um, and also cognitive and psychological um, knowledge to help ourselves and to help others, right? Um, so some of you are being called to do some work, could be um, not in your city, could be outside of your city, outside of your state, outside of your country, outside of your continent, maybe this is the traveling that we're talking about. Um, some of you are being called to either lecture or do some something. Um, travel for it and it might be affecting a personal relationship in your life so i feel like i'm just concluding kind of the reading an important aspect of it to those of you so those of you who are wondering about it or are going through it or will go through it you need to know that it's a soul journey it's important if anything it will benefit your relationship not take away from it because uh, whatever helps you be the best potential of you and express your soul mission helps a true partnership get closer and if it separates you guys and, and it makes you further and further away from each other then maybe you need to question the relationship uh, but i don't think so now another narrative that i'm not really a fan of but i have to express it and it's just for some of you um someone might be using traveling as an excuse to like work travel as an excuse to um and please god now i don't want you to just projected on great relationship just because I said it when the guy or the girl are just literally have to go for something and they're like no you're using it as an excuse but yeah someone is using it for an excuse to get a little bit of space and go away for a little bit um, but here's the fun part they're, they're just gonna trip on themselves and once they'll do that they'll realize that they actually really miss you and their sense of uh, alleged freedom was deceiving deceiving and, and they'll come back around. So no worries. Even if it does happen, it will be for the better because then it will set them straight. And if it's you that I'm talking about and that's what you need to appreciate what you always had, this is this is um, the alchemist, Paolo Coelho's alchemist. You know, you, sometimes you have to um, go to the other side of the world just to discover that your treasure was where you started the, this entire time. It was right under your nose. You just needed to go to the other side of the world just to just to realize that um, so this might be someone returning to you after they've done that or someone doing that either, either way it comes back full circle um, I don't like this energy Hmm. Someone has a dual mind where they are really, they love and they want to be in a partnership and in a relationship, but their reptile mind, the one that is full of fears, that is always suspicious of the other person's intentions, keeps sabotaging it. This is self-sabotaging. This is not someone that doesn't love or doesn't want something to work out. This is someone that keeps believing that something must be wrong. The other person must be taking advantage of me, using me, stealing from me, and then they, 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 they shoot themselves in the foot. They're, they're, it's self-sabotage. They they're create it's it's self-made um, fear. It's it it uh, no. 
what's how how you say it? God, I'm sorry, I'm losing my English in this video. Um, self fulfilled premonition that is fear based. So if someone is constantly suspicious and untrustworthy, untrusting, and always you know communicates from there, that creates a conflict. And it's like then the other person is like, okay, how many times do I have to prove to you that? I'm legit. Why do you keep suspecting me? Why do you keep me making me into someone that allegedly is using you? Do you not know me at all? And you know, that creates the conflict. And then that creates um, tension. And then what do you know? Things don't work out. And then you're like, oh, I was right the whole time. No, you created it. You created it. Stop. Chill. Just chill. <sighs> Um, and if you're not the one who is suspicious and someone is like that with you, like, you know, they escape in their mind to the realm of every, every single bad thing that can allegedly happen. And they're always like concerned, worried, insecure, whatever, know where it's coming from. You know, maybe that'll help. Definitely someone returning full circle this month, coming back after a long time that they weren't around either by body or by uh, heart or by mind. So there's a sense of, okay, I'm here. I'm here. All right. All right, all right, all right. Now, message from the runes, the Hierophant. Message from the runes or message from an oracle? Hmm. I've done runes, I've done I Ching. How would I give you the Akashic Records? Message from the Akashic Records, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the Akashic Records. Mm, let's see. Yeah, they're gorgeous, right? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So, message for my Libras, please. For January, Happy New Year. Libra, January 2019. Message for my Libras for 2019. Thank you. The Akashic Field, One of Forces. I know it's a powerful one. I'm just going to read you from the cards there. From the, from the cards, from the book. Oh, it's One of Forces. Mm -hmm. Roses. Yeah, there we go. The Akashic Field. I will read the upright and the reverse and take it what is for you. So the Akashic Field and it's upright. Like the Akashic Field, the Aurora Boreal, Boreal, Borealis sorry, flows with energy and brilliance as charged particles from the sun interact with atoms in the Earth's atmosphere. The 93 million miles from the sun to the earth is nothing compared to the limitless to the limitless consciousness of the Akashic field. All information, power, energy, and experiences vibrate within this realm of unending truth and possibility. And every bit of it can be yours. Mm. Receiving this card upright tell you that amazing opportunities abound at this time. You can increase and accelerate the experience by opening the doors to the Akashic Records. Your life force energy, Chi, resonates with universal synchronicity now, so you can explore the records and and excessive. Ex, uh, I'm sorry, you can explore the records and receive exactly the information that you need and the energy that can help. Engage in this pursuit with a conscious focus. Write your intentions and ask for inspiration. Meditate on the Akashic field and visualize your goals. 
The universe is ready and willing to align with your heartfelt desires, and now is the time to make them happen. Beautiful. Now let's read the reverse just in case someone needs it. The Akashic Field Reverse indicates a time of fragmentation and agitated energy within or around you. You may be going through some sort of crisis, or you may be on the receiving end of some grief or hostility, which is really throwing you for a loop, for those of you who have been experiencing grief. Your worry and panic is splitting your energy and causing a frantic vibration. You need to know that the universal consciousness of creation is still available to you. Eternal inspiration is always vibrating around you, but until you calm down and reign in the emotional intensity, you will be like a radio station tuned to the wrong frequency and picking up only static. That, that's powerful, this message. The field and the world is filled with potential solutions to the very problems that are making you upset. So stop, take a step back, and try to get a new perspective on things. It may be advisable to look into past life influences, for they vibrate in the Akashic field as well. That's gorgeous. Okay, Akashic Force, uh, close your eyes and imagine yourself entering the boundless and brilliant Akashic field. It's almost as if you're stepping upon, it's almost as if you're stepping upon the Milky Way and all its stars, all its stars roll out before you, offering their light and power. Feel this profound force igniting your dreams and lighting, and lighting your way. So someone is there for you to as you wish. The Akashic field is there for you for as you wish. I guess I'm calling this as you wish. If you haven't subscribed yet, please join my tribe of seekers right here. Press the bell if you want to receive notifications. Um, book a private reading. Check out Tarot Masterclass. And most importantly, I'll see you in a sec in your extended special Ministers of Magic 2019 uh, yearly tarot scope, oracle scope, rune scope. I love you very much, guys. Thank you. See you. Bye.